On my other butthole for telling flight attendant my situation was effed up and being kicked out of the plane. Posted by Golden Ban in Islama. Happened like two hours ago. Worked to ten, flight and pay for a corridor seat to have a bit more legroom. I'm six or so I always try to have seats with leg space. I board the plane, sit and a couple arrives ten minutes later telling me this is their seat. I said I have booked this and it is on my wallet I for an app I was on the right seat that I paid for. They call a flight attendant, the guy tells me my seat has been changed and that I am now in the middle of a four seat row in a pack plane. I say well I want a seat with corridor and more legroom because I paid for it, I don't want to be in the middle of the four seat row. Another attendant arrives, a woman, not very nice to be honest and tells me I either sit there or leave the plane to ask for help at the front desk. I said I am not leaving the plane, I just want to sit with more like room like I paid for. Uh. She tells me again to leave the plane and ask the front desk to which I reply, and no, this is effed up, this is unacceptable, this is a really effed up situation. And this is where she answers me, you are not boarding that plane. Five minutes later the airline company guys told me to exit the plane, which I did because I didn't want no drama or a scary situation US airport. I asked to stay on the plane, but they said no, I was hostile so they couldn't have me on board. They booked me another flight, but it's one stop and not direct. I'm appalled by this situation, but maybe I am the butthole. I don't know, I'm tired. Here is my AI opinion. It sounds like you had a very frustrating experience with your flight. It's understandable that you would want to sit in the seat you paid for and have legroom, especially since you are tall. However, it's also understandable that the flight attendants might be strict about seating assignments, especially if there is a couple already sitting in those seats. It seems like there was a miscommunication about your seat assignment, and the flight attendants may not have been very helpful in resolving the issue. It's possible that they were overworked or under pressure to keep the flight running smoothly. In any case, it's not uncommon for airlines to change seating assignments, especially if there are issues with the original assignment. However, it's reasonable to expect that the airline would provide a comparable seat with similar amenities, such as legroom. It's also worth noting that using profanity or being hostile towards flight attendants is not an effective way to resolve the issue and can lead to further complications. It's important to remain calm and polite, even if you are frustrated. Overall, it seems like you had a difficult experience with your flight, but it's important to remember that air travel can be unpredictable and sometimes things don't go as planned. It might be helpful to speak with the airline directly to understand their policies and procedures for seating assignments and to see if there is anything they can do to resolve the issue. Do you think the passenger was treated unfairly? Have you ever had a similar experience with an airline? Why comment Queasy likes to add? Not the butthole, are they reimbursing you in any way for the change flight? OP replied to that. They put me on a one-stop flight and I have the exit legroom set for no additional charge. Not great, but I wouldn't want to be on a no-flight list or something. I don't know enough about the US in terms of passengers' rights. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Am I the butthole for not getting rid of my cat after finding out my significant other's daughter is allergic? Posted by Well Well Wayne. My boyfriend and I have been together for over two years and live together. He has an 11-year-old daughter who lives nearly full-time with her mom out of state. I've met his daughter and she has been over to our house maybe a total of three times. We have a cat who we all love dearly, including my two kids. When his daughter does visit, she plays with our cat and has had no issues. Recently, my boyfriend's ex contacted him saying their daughter had a severe allergic reaction to a cat and had to go to the doctor and that she is allergic to cats. My boyfriend mentioned the possibility of getting rid of our cat because of this. Am I the butthole for not wanting to get rid of our beloved family pet for his daughter who is maybe at the house one minute two times a year, who never had any issues before? Here is my AI opinion. It's understandable that you don't want to get rid of your cat, and it's not fair to make such a big decision based on one person's allergy, especially since the daughter only visits occasionally. It's important to consider the well-being of all members of the household, including your pets, when making decisions like this. It might be helpful to have a conversation with your boyfriend and his ex about finding a solution that works for everyone. Perhaps there are ways to manage the daughter's allergy while still allowing her to spend time with the cat, such as giving her medication before visiting or keeping the cat out of certain areas of the house during her visits. 
It's also important to consider the impact that getting rid of the cat would have on your own children, who may be very attached to the pet. It's not fair to ask them to give up something they love for the sake of someone else's allergy. Overall, it's not unreasonable to want to keep your cat and find a solution that works for everyone, rather than giving in to one person's allergy. Mrs. Weaselnine likes to add, Not the butthole for not wanting to get rid of the cat, but don't be so quick to dismiss the allergy. Allergies are notorious for popping up after previous exposures, so it's entirely possible that she really did have a severe reaction. But before you consider getting rid of the cat for an occasional resident, I would consider absolutely everything else. Like, how sure are they that it was the cat and not, say, the cat shampoo, flea meds, or letter? Exactly what is severe? If she went to a doctor and not the hospital, is this something that could be treated with meds while she visit? Could the entire family relocate to a rental without the cat for the daughter's visits? Wolfgard is 77 likes to add. You are not the butthole for wanting to keep your cat when the person allergic to it almost never visits, but you should be aware that people can spontaneously develop allergies to things that have never bothered them in the past. Just something to keep in mind, so maybe you can have some OTC allergy medicine on hand for when she visits. Am I the butthole for forcing my kid to get a job even though it hurts her social life at school? Posted by Happy Prior 6383. So my daughter Sophia is 16 and she goes to a private school that a lot of the richer families send their kids. My wife works there so we get a huge discount on the price. I would prefer to send the kids to public school, but our school district sucks a lot, so private is. I truly don't like how the kids act at that school, the best way is that they are snobby. My breaking point for this was my son sent a video of my daughter being extremely rude to a fast food worker. My wife and I discussed it and we agreed she needed to get a job so she will understand that those people deserve respect and how awful it feels for a customer to be a jerk. So she has been working at Target and dealing with all the customers. She hates it and it got out in school she has a job. This resulted in people not inviting her out like they used to since she is lame for having a job. My wife wants to let her quit her job and we got in an argument about it. I think it's better she learns they were never her friends in the first place and she should keep her job. My wife thinks I'm unfair, a jerk and Sophia hates me at the moment. I'm either butthole for this. Here is my AI opinion. You are not in butthole, but you also didn't handle it perfectly. It's understandable that you want your daughter to learn how to treat people with respect and understand that having a job is a good thing, but you should have talked to her about this before she started working at Target. Now that she has been working there for a while, it might be harder for her to quit without any consequences. It's also important to consider your daughter's feelings and well-being. If she hates her job and is being treated poorly by some of the customers, it might be better for her to quit and find a different job that she enjoys more. It's not fair to make her continue working in a place that makes her miserable just to prove a point. It would be good to have a conversation with your daughter and your wife about this situation and come up with a solution that works for everyone. Maybe there is another job that she could consider, or maybe she could try to find a way to balance her school work and social life with her job. Whatever the solution is, it should be something that makes her happy and respected by others. Do you think it's fair for the father to make his daughter continue working at Target if she hates it and it's affecting her social life? Should the father have let Sophia quit her job and deal with the consequences later, or should he have made her finish out her commitment? A comment from C. Majuscula. Not the butthole, but as a former food service worker in high school, I believe that everyone should have to work one full year so you hit all the holidays once as a food service or frontline store worker so they are likely to think twice before abusing staff after that. Maybe do something similar? She has to work for one full year, including full time over the summer. OP answered. I agree with that. I remember getting yelled at at the movie theatre when I was a teenager. I have never been mean to employees since. I know those jobs sucks I don't want it to be harder. Walking in the service worker's shoes is a great way to learn empathy and how your actions affect others that are working. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.